Hey guys. Hello. Hey, hey Ritvik. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi Ritvik. Hi Dino. Hi Dragon. Hello everyone. Hi Ritvik. Yeah, good afternoon. So Ritvik, my name is Abhinav. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm I'm a lead engineer who is handling the DevOps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Team Parav is there. <clears throat> who is senior engineer? Parvin is also is there. Who is the senior engineer? So we all we are we are the team of DevOps. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, you can start now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ritik. So <clears throat> how are you, Ritik? Ah, uh, fine. Uh. Yeah, I was just going to resume it. So I mean, I, I was I found that you have worked on AWS uh, Azure and uh, quite a good technology as well. Mm. So can you bit uh, provide your uh, brief? So previously I was uh, yes. So previously I was working with the uh, Amdocs. So there uh, I was working in an AT and T project. So they had uh, seven thousand applications. So uh, out of seven thousand applications, four thousand were uh, uh, supposed to be migrated to the Azure cloud. So the contract was distributed uh, between five companies. So one was MDocs, one was Accenture, one was Microsoft, one was IBM, and one was uh, I mean one was other. So my task was as a platform engineer was to create the resources for the production environment. Uh, based upon the target architecture which uh, application team used to give us so in total there were eight to nine steps uh, according to which we used to migrate our applications to the azure cloud so it is all started with uh, ado onboarding so ado onboarding means it was an automation uh, <coughs> automation uh, process of the at &T. So after we were done with our uh, that ADO onboarding, so we had two environments. One was DevOps uh, prod and then one was DevOps non prod, which was created in the Azure portal automatically. And after that, uh, we used to create POC non prod and power up prod environments uh, according to the target architecture, and hand over it to the various teams and administrators. Say for example, if uh, any Linux server configuration has to be done. So it was handed over to the Linux administrator or whatever the softwares and the installations and the configuration are supposed to be done. So those were done by the respective people. So other than that, uh, I was working in a BSSE project, uh, which was MDocs an internal product. So if I talk about uh, BSSE, so uh, the code was uh, pushed by the application team uh, into the Nexus uh, repository. And there we had to pull from the Nexus to the Bitbucket, and uh, we had a uh, daily morning morning meeting with the QE team. So they used to send us a uh, Word document. So according to that, uh, we had to do change the version uh, changes in the code and commit those code uh, in the Bitbucket itself. And uh, after that, we had to run uh, Jenkins pipeline, uh, which was a manual uh, triggering one was of it was in the morning time and one was in in the afternoon and if any glitches were there or uh, any error was there so for uh, so uh, our task was to uh, fix that uh, issue and then uh, uh, report everything in the scrum meeting so these are the two projects before that i was working with the uh, amg it services so there soon after i joined so the cloud work was introduced so my task was to create the resources for the production environment and all the cloud requirements and uh, if anything uh, I was unable to do or uh, so it was escalated to the senior uh, engineer or senior team and other than that they had various clients such as Hux and Mbay so they were also deploying certain cloud technologies so I was uh, sent there as a deportation engineer so this kind of work in cloud I have done till now Okay, so you might, so as you mentioned, that you might wrote some Jenkins scripts as well, right? For your automation purpose or somehow you have worked yeah, on. Yeah, I am a little bit, scripts, uh, right? a little bit worse with uh, actually scripting, but not uh, very much strong. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> actually, so take care. I mean, if you, like, I'll give you a scenario. Okay, so I mean, uh, not as a scenario, just a, a basically, I want to see how uh, better scripting languages you are uh, on it, right? So uh, I want you to remove some duplicate IPs from a string, right? And uh, 
store it in a new string if you can write a small piece of uh, uh, shell script for me you can share your screen you can write that so right now i cannot uh, write but i can yeah, I'm, i just want to uh, see the logic perspective you don't uh, i don't want to be precise for the syntax level just want to see that how uh, the thought process is like going that is it so the thought process uh, ca- i can uh, tell you so yeah. i mean uh, Uh, we will write the logic as uh, uh, all the uh, matching ips is equals to uh, i mean uh, we will uh, use the uh, double is equals to all uh, logic in uh, that uh, script so all the duplicates ip which are getting matched and after that uh, we can uh, remove using a block of code i mean okay so considering th- uh, thing like uh, as you might have not uh, worked so much on scripting so mm-hmm. you might have faced some scenarios like uh, um, in some script script there were some merge conflicts uh, that you might have seen right in, in run time mm-hmm. so uh, if you have seen some of those scenarios then how you uh, resolve those or how, how what idea you come up with for that to resolve those uh, situations so uh, you are talking about the git merge issues git conflict yes so in mm-hmm. git git conflict basically what happens is if uh, two people simultaneously work on the same file and push that code so git uh, conflict occurs so there are two ways to clear those uh, issues one is to do the pull the code and then uh, whatever the changes are and then pull otherwise use the git bash well uh, git rebase sorry so that is a manual set that the developer will do uh, on their system right so let's suppose uh, you get uh, someone has created a pipeline and it uh, that pipeline got triggered and on fly that error comes or some issue comes is it related to merge conflict then what is your approach to fix it or what is your approach to ma- handle the situation will you i mean what will be your uh, uh, idea about that uh, using automation yes in automation so in using automation to i have not uh, fixed it, that issue in manually because uh, i was uh, involved in the cloud migration uh, task so there i had faced uh, certain time this issue so i we used to do the git git pull or either git uh, rebase uh, uh, automation using automation i have not done. I mean I just now I'm I'm done with two questions maybe if you or Praveen have something to ask So so uh, so currently you are working where hmm. I am working as of now nowhere because my uh, I was a third party resource in Amdocs so my project got uh, completed so Amdocs had around 1000 applications so they were migrated in a year only but uh, that that task was distributed I mean they were supposed to be completed by 2024 so only modernization and uh, optimization tasks are happening in those applications okay okay okay, okay. so basically you, i think what i understand from your uh, resume is that you have more into a sys admin work right yeah system uh, yeah system administration work and basically i am from it infrastructure background so if i talk so about the uh, shell scripting so i used to do the shell scripting back in uh, kmg and that to those were the basic scripts and the whole team was involved in that i was so you can you can you can implement the same logic in shell script also no issue just you can share your screen and you can implement the same logic in shell script also so That's i uh, so i am uh, right now i am not geared up for uh, i mean uh, the syntax and all i don't remember as of now but uh, the logic i can could tell you because because if uh, in shell scripting whenever i was given any task so we used to f- for the logic we used to discuss with our team and uh, do the i mean find out certain logics or code from the google and not on the spot we used to do so in that way. okay okay then i think uh, okay currently actually rithik uh, we are looking for a person who has a who has uh, who has a skill of system admin i agree in devops but who has a skills of uh, Uh, scripting also to write the logics okay to write the program uh, it i am not saying it should be a 
program of 20 or 300 lines it should be a 15 to 16 lines oh, okay. but yeah but i think it's good to talk to you but yeah if we find some system admin person then definitely we contact you okay okay so uh, i mean as of in like amdocs i basically i might ask is to create the infrastructure in cloud and uh, uh shell scripting is not my main stream task it so is so i think what you can do what you can do you can uh, you can contact to hr and tell them to uh, forward your resume in a infra team hmm. okay. okay 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 then you should go tell him tell him tell you tell the uh, when he, after his call contact the hr of the hr tell him that uh, <coughs> i am perfectly suited for infra so forward my resume in infra team if there is any opening okay hmm. they will definitely <coughs> help you okay okay Okay, so you are looking okay. for a hardcore programmer, basically. No, I am not looking for a. I am not looking for a programmer. I am looking for a person who has a core DevOps knowledge. Okay, so core DevOps. Uh, there are other tools as well, like Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, and all those. I agree, but definitely you. Uh, if I ask you, you definitely tell me the commands. But I need a update command in the logic also. Okay, okay. So uh, in shell scripting, uh, in between we are also using uh, Linux uh, commands as well. So my, you mean uh, all that code above should be integrated with the shell scripting and, and that kind of profile you have? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So basically, that much uh, automations I have not, uh, I don't have exposure that much. at least what i suggest you uh, i know if you don't know that is uh, that is very clear answer i appreciate that but i think what you should try is you should try by yourself uh, to design your own logics so okay. it will help you in coming interviews ha okay okay kyunki yaar dekho simple sa hai na koi bhi hoga chahe wo aapko jaise 2 years ka experience hai na 2 and a half year jitna bhi experience hai na thoda bahut to koi puch raha hai na to thoda bahut to yeah 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 Ab- है नहीं कि आपको 15 इयर्स का एक्सपीरियंस और आपको सिर्फ मैनेज करने के लिए लिया जा रहा है है ना ओके समझ रहे हो या गॉट इट ठीक है चलो दोस्त बाय बाय टेक केयर है ना ओके गुड टू यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच ओके थैंक्स सर ओके सर थैंक यू